So we just hit the PSA booth. You all know that we dropped off an Otani car two days ago. It's been great. Gonna do a reveal. And we're rolling. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Friday at the National. So we're across the street from the convention center. We're about to go in. This is Junior's first day at a national show. Take on into the national. Into the national. We're gonna pick up the Otani car that we dropped off the PSA for great. And we're gonna walk around and have some fun. We want you to ride with us. Anything else you got for the people? Let's go! Who's rolling with FD? Who's rolling with FD? I'm rolling with FD. What? Who's rolling with FD? I'm rolling with FD. Talk to him. Hey, we're still running the 5,000 subscriber contest. Leave a comment and let us know your favorite players. You do this once and you'll be permanently entered in the contest. First place receives $1,000 in cards for their favorite player. Second place receives up to $250 in cards of their favorite player. Five additional winners will receive Rolling With FD merch of their choice. Thank you for your support. We can't get the 5,000 without you from the national. I was at a trade night last night and some guy wanted it. I'm like, no, I already, I already. I appreciate that. Yeah. How and much did we crazy. talk about? I said 240. Okay. What do you take? Venmo or? Yeah. Make sure you get it, bro. Sorry. That's this is Friday. Today is Friday. Just picked up my first pickup, which is the 2020 James Wiseman White Sparkle PSA 9. This is a car that we've communicated on weeks before coming to this show. I didn't know if I would see him here. I was planning to pick it up anyway, so I'm happy that we were able to pick it up today. Didn't have to worry about shipping or anything like that. Cool car. So be nice. This is Junior's first national. Hey, how you doing? I had to come over. See you, see. you have a good one, brother. Good to see you too, man. Right. Junior's over there. It's his first match. Oh wow! He wanted to, he wanted to stop and play some skeet ball. Oh heck yeah! Can I throw it harder? Like up? Uh, well, but how you been? I've been a man. What you submit, man? I got a couple of RCRs and a GGR. Oh, understood. Keep that inventory going. That's right. Appreciate you, brother. Thanks, man. Thanks for uh, saying hi. Oh, hey, absolutely, yeah, bro. There you go, like that. Ooh, you can go down. Push down, Junior. Ooh, look out. Oh, now you can eat the ghost. Go get him. Go get the ghost. All right, go ahead, Junior. Yeah. Finally meeting y'all. Yeah. How's it going? I gotta get a picture with you all. Let's do it. You picked up any book yet? Yeah, I picked up Booker Rookie Prism Auto. I'm looking at a couple others. I'm trying to find a reasonably priced numbered prism like parallel. Let's see. Okay. I did pick up a Benedict Mather in the optical PSA 9. Oh, that's nice. Out of 10. He's a promising guy. Though. Yeah. I think once Buddy Heel leaves, he's going to get a nice little shot. Him and Tyrese Halliburton. That could be the backcourt of the future right there. Good thing. They look really good. On good paper, thing. that is. So who do you think besides Mahomes? Don't ask y'all this. Who is the next upcoming quarterback? I'll put probably. Mahomes to the side. Who do you see having a 2-3 Super Bowl win uh, career? Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow? I think so. Who do you think? Jalen Hurts. The Eagles are building around Jalen Hurts. The defense is so much better than it's been in years. We got the best player in the draft this past year. They look phenomenal. The offensive line is there. The only thing that's scary is when Jason Kelsey leaves and retires next season. I think he's, this is his last year. Because he was contemplating retiring this year. He was. And then he came back for one more year. So I think after he leaves, you still got a solid offensive line. But he makes that engine run. If they find a solid center to replace him that can do a lot of the same stuff he was doing, I think the Eagles are going to be a solid team to come. They're super young at really core positions. They're going to continue to grow. I'm so happy to be an Eagles fan. It's a long time coming. We look really good. What do y'all think of Justin Fields? But, but like Philly sports, they're yeah. going to make it to the end, but they won't be able to finish that finish. Line. So it's always going to be. Yeah. What do y'all think of uh, Justin Fields? <laughs> I, th I think Justin Fields is, this is going to be interesting. So far in training camp, I don't know if you've seen some of his highlights, but Justin Fields, DJ Moore connection looks really good. Very good. But you got to make sure that offensive line stays True. healthy. Other pieces, right? Yeah, you got to make sure that he's a little bit more patient sometimes. He needs to watch Jalen Hurts a lot and just become a floor general. Yeah. I'm, I'm being that serious. I mean, Jalen controls the game. 
That's one of his best qualities. He doesn't throw the deep ball 100% well. People say he's not really accurate, but that man can manage the game. That's what you want out of your quarterback. I agree. And I, I, I just think he's going to be phenomenal. Obviously, I'm super biased. I'm a diehard Eagles fan all my life. A little bit biased. Just a little, a little bit biased. But I think if you really take a look at it, a lot of promising things coming. I ask these questions because right now in football and basketball, we don't know who are the next GOAT. Yeah, true no, goat, not no. just a loose term. You know, we don't know. You know, basketball is, it seems like it's a little bit, I'm not going to say easier to kind of predict that, but when you take a look at the guys right now and they, if they remain healthy, I mean, Luka Doncic looks unreal. You, but, okay, I got another question since you brought him up. Will he win a championship? Do you think Luka will win a championship? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. Mark, and if, if he, he doesn't win a championship, what does that mean? If he stays with the Mavericks, I think Mark Cuban always wants to win. And Mark Cuban threw it together a team to make sure Dirk gets a championship. I think you can kind of see that. Now, granted, they had one of the best, you know, six men of all time. And Jason Terry come off the bench, you know, UMA Wildcat. Yeah, yeah. Throw that out there. But um, I, I think Mark Cuban, if he stays with the Mavericks, will put something together. If he goes to someone like the Knicks, I don't know. The Knicks used to be all about winning way back in the day, early 90s, the 80s, even 70s. They were winning left and right. I mean, but man, it's been a rough time for the Knicks, and that's kind of where you're here. He might go if he leaves. I don't know. Did they, can he play with Brunson? Can they play together? That I mean, they have before, and they went pretty well. They destroyed my sons, and then the whole Luca is Devin Book's daddy meme is all over the place. I, I I think Brunson's a better fit than Kyrie Irving. Oh, I agree with that. Uh, oh, I totally agree. It, with that. It's a shame. Like Kyrie Irving is one of those players that when you look at it, his whole career, you can sit back and argue that he's the greatest point guard of all time. I'm not saying he is, but there, you can make an argument. In some cases, and it's just a shame that whatever is going on affects that locker room so much. Yeah. Him, I feel like because he's a damn good player, and it's almost like whatever team he goes to, they're always something. questioning. Yes, it's always questioning. You know, it's a pleasure meeting y'all. I, mean, I wanted to meet y'all for a long time. Yeah. Brother, thank you, sir. Appreciate, Appreciate you, man. You a Pistons fan? You a Pistons fan? All right, I'm a Wiseman fan. Oh, you are? Yeah. Good to see one, bro. Oh, look at look at him. Just chilling on the on the cake. I wish I had my Watchman logo man to show you. It's at PSA. Oh really? Yeah. Bomb car. You get it graded? Yeah. What's, your, out of what's five. your name, bro? I run Rip Hamilton Ritz on what? Everybody calls me Rip. Who's your guy other than Wise? Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Play Tom. Steph Curry. What you got? I got some stuff. Oh wow. Eminence. Real cool. This oh wow. Crazy. Fire. Yeah. And like, not a lot of people opened impeccable this year, so this is like lots yeah. of time, man. Very nice. This is another one that oh. I opened up a bunch of those premium box sets, yeah. and I hit one of those. Ooh. Curry's been following me this year, which, uh, nothing to complain about. Yeah, it's nothing to complain about, bro. Have you ever come across any wives when you want to move? You let me know. For sure. My man. I think this is the line for pickup. Yep. We're in the right place. The proper step. Standing big friends. It's good for me. You're picking up friends. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. So we just hit the PSA booth. You all know that we dropped off an Otani car two days ago. It's been great. Gonna do a reveal. Lab looks clean. PSA 8 with a 10 auto. I'm happy. I'm excited. Looks cool. Yeah. Let me work on my technique. Thank you, bro. Yep. Let's go, Junior. Bring that right hand, bro. Yeah. And you gotta put it flush against the thing and let it go. You can keep it or pay and play again. Let's play again. Or, your, or another turn. Okay. You want another turn? You don't want the outside. Two. That's a hat. Right. Look at that. Black or red? There you go. Look at that. Brother, I appreciate it. No worries. Thank, Thank you. Look at this table. On yeah. card, four patches, uh, game use jerseys. I want to move that card at some point. Pop one, no PSA 10s. The raw is uh, that I don't know. Uh, a BGS 9 is like 900, 950, I think. Top of my head, I'm thinking like 18, 2K. 
And some 9.5s have sold, but they got bad autos. You see that 9.5 with 8 auto? So This is out of 75 though. That was at 75. Mm -hmm. It was probably a pop one with that auto. A number to 199, 960. Mm -hmm. okay. I'd probably say a number to 75 is 1200, so I think it's 2K. 2K to 2500. I can but see it because I've seen this auto on this car with him all over the place. Yeah. I would say 25. Car. I paid about that for it. 25? Okay. I mean, worst case scenario, break even. We paid out of it, get some uh, wise. <laughs> wise, we can't do nothing but go up. You just wait, young man. <laughs> you just wait. Did we get that on tape? You break out here. Believe in that guy, man. Break out here. Okay. What if it don't happen though? It's gonna be him and Miller. That's all we Brandon doing. Miller. That's it. Super far, you're gonna be like, hey, my passion. You know, you got more passion right now than they do. You know that, right? Why are you doing them like that? Oh, come on, man. You break your ankle on you. On the crossover? Chet broke his foot jumping. I ain't even talking about Chet. You only want to get me on. <laughs> I think Chet is trash. Like, he's, 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 he's the real deal. He's the and being disrespected right now. Fundamentally sound, in the post, front around, and a jumper. for the 15 feet. Skill. Right now. But not controversial, not a wah-wah guy. But he's going to give you 25 to 10 tonight. He might be the Tim Duncan in this generation. Low key cat and the But he won't be in Orlando. Nah, he's got a move. Yeah, he's gonna have he's to move. He's in the minor leagues right now. Yeah, he's got a move. But we're gonna see. We're gonna see about it. Trash, trash, trash. What about Wimby? Trash. You think so? Put that in the post of Wimby and see what happens. You know, Wimby, his, we were talking last night, his footwork is just. His Not footwork, smooth. his footwork on somebody his size is smooth. Like when I see him go crossover, his handles, but like I know me and me and Rob was talking about it. Get somebody that can play D. Have you seen Wimby post up? No, nah, he can't. He's too little. I haven't seen it. To put your back to the basket, you gotta have some size. You gotta be able to move somebody or be like Timmy and just be so skilled where it doesn't matter. So the NBA is thirsty for a big man that can get after. Uh, I think we got two or three. Who? I, I like him post game. I'm not a big and big fan, but I respect his post game. Okay. 100. You no, know, I am by Giannis. You're gonna be on the guy like two more years to be on top. Give or take. And I say five. And now I he, feel like his body's going. Now to he fail. doesn't have a point guard. His body's going to fail. I say point guard. Actually. I guess oh, it's Max, it, bro. Oh, it's love it, bro. Hey. We've released some episodes where I show you about what comics I collect. But look at this loop. We've been to Comic Con, but this is bringing Comic Con to the next. Look around here. We were looking over here at this amazing Spider-Man. First appearance of the Punisher. Uh, you got the Superman here. Older X-Men. You got the uh, X-Men where the Phoenix is born. Like this kind of stuff I read when I was really coming up. Almost Junior's age. But then you can spam. You got a whole bunch of different stuff. G and I are going to walk this, look, and see if we find something. I always say my motto is... You got the gems on the table, you got the gems walking around. Yeah, that's great picture, so I'm here to do both, beat both, talk to both. Brother, well, appreciate you, man. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is FT. It's been a great day. Since Friday at the National, at the Buzz, you see people everywhere. We've had a great time. We're at the National! Today was Junior's first day at the National. What'd you think? I it. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications button. We're going to bring you more content. The National. I don't know if you all know, but you should. We released some episodes. Let me say it, not say it like that. I don't know if you are. <laughs>